Hey, it's me. Welcome back to Al's Drum Hang. So if you're a drummer and you use social media, like at all, and you've been on social media at all in like the past last year, you might have seen an ad for a company called Scorpion Percussion selling drumsticks. They're a small business based in Southern California and their main product is drumsticks. They seem to be doing a few things differently to other companies. So I got curious, picked up a few pairs and tried them out. And this is going to be my review of Scorpion Drumsticks. Welcome back to Al's Drum Hang. First off, let me just say this is an unbiased review. I did not receive compensation or free product to make this video. This is hashtag not an ad, hashtag unsponsored content. So like many of you, Scorpion first came to my attention through their very many social media ads on my feed. Now I've had a variety of experiences with Facebook and Instagram storefronts. I had a very good experience with a shirt with my dog's face on it and a very bad experience with a pair of super durable sports shoes. So I always feel like these Facebook based vendors are a mixed bag. But then as I was investigating sticks with grips, like I talk about in my previous video, I became aware through Drummer World of Scorpion Percussion having a different, slightly different kind of grip called Venom Grip. The guy who pointed it out to me said he really enjoyed them and he thought I should give them a try. So a couple of weeks ago, I went on their website, uh, got a couple of pair, and then I found out they were running a promotion where you could get another uh, pair of sticks free, basically, $11.99, and all you do was cover down on the shipping and handling. So I went on and got a third pair without the grip in their natural finish so that I could compare the two. It's my understanding that Scorpion runs promo like this all the time, so go check it out. Maybe you'll score a code and get a free pair or a discount on a pair. Also of note, and something that I find personally really cool, is that Scorpion claims to be a veteran-owned small business. As a veteran myself, thank you for your service, uh, Scorpion Percussion owners, and uh, good on you. want to talk about Scorpion's website, which I think is excellent, and their product line, which is really impressive. The website's really clear and easy to navigate. They have a really great selection. The two main lines, of course, are the A line, which is called Immortal, and the B line or B stock line, which is called Rehearsal. They're essentially the same sticks. The B line, the rehearsals, are overage from the A line that has maybe cosmetic imperfections, and as such, they're in limited styles. The rehearsals are available in standard lengths only, in the 7A, 5B, 5A, 3A, and 2B. Okay, cool, so if you're looking for cheap sticks, to burn through at rehearsals, or if you want something to throw into the crowd, here's rehearsal. The marquee line is called Immortal, and this is where Scorpion gets really fancy. They offer all the same diameters as the re rehearsal line, but in addition, they also have something that's called the warm-up stick called the Emperor, and it's a double butt-end stick. Now, some of us back in the day used to use Promark's Rock Knockers, not just as warm-up sticks, but as main sticks, because playing butt out was really, really popular for a while. So I don't know if these sticks will hold up to that since they're claimed to be warm-up sticks, but they look just like the rest of the sticks. So if that's you who likes to play with butt ends and this looks cool to you, knock yourself out, I suppose. See what I did there? When you click on an individual stick model in the Immortal line, you get a dizzying array of choices. You have your choice of regular extended or super extended length, which is 16, 16 and a half or 17. And each model has at least two and usually three choices of tip. Most of them allow you to choose between ball acorn and oval tip, except for the 2B, which only comes in oval and acorn and the 7A, which only comes in ball and oval. All the sticks come in three different finishes. You've got the lacquer finish, you've got the natural finish with no finish whatsoever on it, basically just raw wood, and of course the venom grip finish, which is lacquered over half and then it has this green venom grip on the back half. 
all this adds up to about 125 options as far as what the website says to build your own stick and it's really cool because if you like a certain length of stick but you're having a hard time finding the specific uh, diameter or the specific tip that you like there's a very good chance that Scorpion will be able to build the stick you want. For my first order I decided to order a Venegrip version of the Vic Firth Freestyle 5Bs that I love. So these are going to be 17 inch long 5Bs. I got an acorn tip on them because I like that acorn tip and then there's the Venegrip on them. The third set I ordered is the same thing except in natural finish. The sticks arrived in a bubble mailer and they look just like I picked them up off the wrap. There was no damage. Everything's cool. Each pair of sticks came one of these cool little stickers. So, so far so good. Let's look at the individual sticks and see what the build quality is. Yep, that's about 17 inches or close enough. And definitely about 1.52 centimeters in diameter. That's pretty accurate. Pure straight. Do sticks have to be pitch paired? Drive some people crazy if they're not too far away, if they're too far away from each other on pitch, but these are pretty close. That's good enough for me. Then we have a couple of tests to do as far as roadworthiness. Okay, first off, does the butt end leave any marks on a white snare head if you're gonna do a cross stick? Second off, if you turn butt end around to do your cross sticks, is it gonna have a kind of muted sound because of the grip? One thing I did notice as I was looking over these sticks is that on a few of the sticks that had the venom grip, there's a little tiny bump at the end of the butt end. As if when they dip the grip material, they then hung them up by the tip and a little droplet formed at the end. I would have expected Scorpion to maybe have a process to avoid this, but if it really bothers you, I suppose you can just sand it off. It didn't really bother me and it didn't affect how the sticks played at all. I really liked the Venom grip. It felt really natural to play, uh, whereas with the Vic grip, I used to get my hands very, the new Vic grip, I'm talking about the very heavy rubber Vic grip, it dried my hands out really badly and they would start to blister. This has not done that. I have a little hot spot on this finger on my left hand but nothing major and I've been playing these all week. Like the Promark Active Grip, it gets a little bit tackier as your hands heat up, but it's not thick and rubbery like the Vic Grip or the Zildjian Dip, which is really what the Vic Firth Grip is right now. It felt really positive and never felt like I was going to lose these. So I really like the Venom Grip. I like the Natural Grip a bit less it didn't feel really, really positive to me, and I actually, within my first song, I just dropped one on my right hand. So I'm gonna have to do a little bit more experimentation with the natural grip. Having said that, the fit and finish on these sticks is excellent. Uh, as you saw, they're very straight. Uh, there's no blemishes on the A-Line, the Immortal, and they feel really nice. The balance is really superb. Uh, they also wear very well. This single pair of sticks that I've been using all week. I haven't used the other two very much at all. As a matter of fact, the ones I just showed in my demonstration uh, just came out of the wrapper. And the, the main set I've been using, the Venom Grips, they don't appear really to have sustained much damage at all. There's no chipping of the tip. Uh, even where I've been bashing my cymbals, uh, there's not very much uh, damage to the shaft or the shoulder. So um, the manufacturer claims that they're extremely high grade uh, hickory that wears very well. And I would say so far their claims are holding up. Another thing that Scorpion offers that may have some people really interested 
is their customizable signature line of sticks. They call it their in-house ability to print your signature, artwork, logo, name, and a printed font or other graphics onto your Immortal series sticks. It's also the process of becoming a Scorpion Percussion Signature Artist. If you order a minimum of 12 pairs from them, they add a dollar per pair cost for adding your artwork, print logos, etc. in black ink only. So that's the limitation. And they have certain specifications for the graphics that you have to send in in order to make this happen so that they'll print at the correct quality. But a dollar per stick per pair of sticks is really inexpensive for this service compared to other I, others I've seen. With all the options available in the Immortal line already, it really feels like you're getting a custom stick made just for you. They say they can also make the same signature model in the rehearsal series. So if you want to sell merch or yeet stuff into the crowd with your signature on it, you can totally do that, which is another great option. I didn't opt for the signature service, so I can't vouch for the quality of it holding it in your hand, but they do have pictures on their social feed and on their website of several signature models. And I have to say, it looks pretty nice. There's a logo and a signature. Looks all right to me. So would I recommend these sticks? Well, sure. Now, they're about the same cost as a comparable set of Vic Firths right now. And then you add on shipping, which you're probably going to do with a lot of online merchants unless you get to a certain price point. But there's promo codes all the time, so you can save on that, maybe cover your shipping, or maybe get buy one, get one, or half off or something. Feels like there's going to be deals all the time with these guys, so you just shop wisely and buy in bulk when they're running a promo. The sticks are good. They're very consistent quality. They do seem to wear a little bit better and more consistently. Like I said, I've been playing these for a week and there's really no problem with them. Where I really feel they shine is their commitment to give you exactly the stick you want, the exact length, the diameter, the tip, the finish. It really feels customizable, but it's at the same price point. You're not paying extra for these options except for the Venom Grip, which uh, raises the price $2 per pair. I think the Venom Grip is a great alternative to the other grips out there, which can feel a little bit too tacky or can dry your hands out or cause other problems uh, in playability. So if you're looking for a grip alternative or you're looking for a certain stick length, diameter, and tip that you really have trouble finding with other manufacturers, I suggest giving Scorpion a try. And of course, if you're looking for your very own signature stick, I think this is a really economical way to go about it. What do you think? Would you buy a pair of these sticks? Have you bought a pair of these sticks? What are your experiences? Drop a comment in the chat. Let me know what's going on. Thanks very much for all your patronage this year, all the likes, all the follows, all the subscribes. Make sure you enable your notifications and if I don't talk to you before then, have a safe and happy holiday season. This has been Alice Drumhanger.